Um, I probably got to show you the one I have because they got like a, so many different options. And, <laughs> and the thing is, they're interchangeable too. So it's like you be looking like, now nah, come on, now what I'm supposed to use? Yeah, I'm, I, I'll, I'll send you a link because it's going to be hard to figure out which one it is for like all of that. So I'll send it to you. What's up, y'all? Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. All right. You know what time it is? Draw in your wondering mind. Okay. You already know what time it is. We've been to get down with the get down. You know what we do first. All right. We have to make a cocktail. And this cocktail, you ain't supposed to use Prosecco, but I got a bottle open, so I figured why not use it, huh? Okay? This, the thing is, see, when you're cooking your food at your house, the way you like it, you can cook whatever you want to cook. You see what I'm saying? It's just up to you on how you want to do it. All right? I feel like this camera is fuzzy. Let me get a napkin. Hold on. This one, I don't even know who y'all are over here. That's regular Facebook. This is my, um. well, I wiped it, but I don't think it's, that don't do no better. Okay, maybe it's, somebody called Mark Zuckerberg, okay? All right, um, hey, Hi, good evening. Praise God from whom all blessings flow, okay? Let's cook. Or let's drink first. Okay, so um, into this uh, picture, I'm going to add a few delicious things. Okay, I need some um, some juice. What do I got right here? Fresh squeeze. All right, and it don't even matter who scrolls it. That way, it don't matter. Deal with it. All right. So first thing I want to do is I'm probably going to just add the lemon juice. Right here, fresh squeeze, and the people at the Santa Cruz Church of God. No, I'm sorry, let me get it right. The Santa Cruz Organic Church of God in Christ, they made this. Okay, they made this. All right, so we're gonna put a little piece of lemon juice in here for freshness. Yes, all right, then I have a little white peach. Okay, a little white peach situation. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. The regular, when I tell you what this is, they don't use white peach, but this is what I got. And so since you watching me, I can put this on, but this is what I got, huh? Okay, we're gonna put the white peach in here. I'll make a picture of this. All right. Now, um, I put in lemon juice, white peach. I am stuck on lychee liqueur. I'm sorry, it's probably gonna be in my repertoire for a little bit, all right? I'm stuck on it, so you don't post, put this in here, but I'm putting it, I, I'm doing it in mine. Why? Because I can, okay? And then, let's juice it up. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, we're gonna double fist it today. Yes, We don't drink the whole picture, I can't make no promises. That I can't keep. Okay. Um, we're gonna double fist it. It's been a long day, and sometimes you need double for your trouble. Mm-hmm. Who need double for their trouble? It's double fisted, and I say let's do it. All right. So you wanna add tequila. And so this is a little tequila. Um, this is like white tequila. So don't you don't need that much of this. Just put you a little bit of this in here, okay? Because it's tequila, you just need a little bit. You don't need that much tequila in this, all right? Just put you a little bit of tequila on top of that. That's a little bit. That's all you need, all right? Then I said, well, we better go on and add us a little more tequila. This is 1,800 because that's the level you're going to be on by the time you're done drinking these, okay? 1,800. Just put you a shot like that. Like that much, okay? That's all you need. Now, you could use grapefruit juice for this, but I don't have none. What I do have is some zero calorie um, Fresca. And you know, Fresca is a grapefruit, it's a grapefruit um, soda, like sparkling water, kind of. 
I think, no, it's like a zero calorie situation. So, and it's grapefruit flavor. If you're not into Fresca, I don't know who you are. Cause you can take one of these and sit out on the lanai under the afternoon sun and have you a little piece of this, okay? So we're gonna put that in here. It's zero calories. You can drink as much as you want, okay? All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna top this, Jesus, I'm gonna top this off with, um, and again, I'm only doing this because I opened the Prosecco, and you know I can't put the lid back on. So I'm gonna add a little sparkling Prosecco to this, okay? So we're making what's known as a Camp Torito, okay? It's a little Latin drink. It's a grapefruit-inspired Latin drink with tequila, okay? I'm not done. Yes. Okay, I need me a little piece of grenadine. But I think it's over here. Now hold the line, you know ain't nothing ready. I got some right here. All right, isn't this beautiful? How they look? Good. All right. And then you know, we put you a little piece of brandy. You can put it in the cup. Let's put it in the cup. This when we when we pour ourselves a thing, we're gonna put it in here, okay? That's what we're gonna do. That way it looks like, it really do look like something. And you're gonna be like, what uh, what you doing? Where you going? And you're gonna be like, to eat. And they're gonna be like, ah, okay. Okay, it's like Kool-Aid, stir it up. Okay, hold on, and then you take your little sip, make sure it's right before I pour me a glass. Whoa. Oh boy, okay. That's a strong one there, okay. Ooh, that's, whew, whew, whew. that's the situation right there. Okay, put you a little ice in your glaze. Like this, see. Then we're gonna take some of our white peach cantorito and we're gonna pour it right up in here like this here, see. See, just like that. All right. I'm gonna top mine off with a little bit more prosecco. All right. Hello. Yes, and then. Float you a little piece of grenadine for a little color. See, look at this. Woo! Bam. Okay. Quit playing with me. What are we doing? Drinking. As often as he do this. Do it in remembrance of me. Everybody bow your hand and say grace. Grace. Mm. If you like sweet and fruity, kind of like me. This is delicious, okay? Mm. And the thing about it is like refreshing. It's called a Cantorito. White peach Cantorito. The people in Mexico, they, they're going to be like, um, sir. They're going to be like, senor, que es eso? That means, what is that in Spanish? I'm going to be like, I made it up a little bit. They're going to be like, no. But for us, at this time, hold on, I gotta, we have a visitor. Let me get her a little something. Okay, that way she not, she not out here empty handed. Gracias. <laughs> <Dana. laughs> and it's not Crystal, I know y'all, where's Crystal, where's Crystal? It's actually my friend, Kendria. If you need any um, real estate business in the state of Georgia or Michigan, soon Florida, holla at her, okay? So we're gonna put a little piece of this on the bottom. Like that. Maybe a little piece more. Okay. We're gonna top it with a little Prosecco. Like that, see. All right, and then we're gonna float, put you a little swig of grenadine. This been all fuck everybody up, okay? Wow, look at that. Okay, you have a new drink called a Cantorito. All right, pardon me. All right. So if you like bubbly, sweet, Prosecco, brunch, this is a great drink for the girls and whatnot, and it's loaded. 
All right, so sip responsibly and slow. I better take my own advice, okay? Well, at this time, we are asking all visitors to please stand. Okay, we are asking all visitors to please stand. At this moment, our impact agents are coming down the aisle to welcome you. They will be handing you a card. We ask that you take that card and fill that card out. And when you go around for offering, you can put that impact card into the offering basket and our impact agents will contact you. You do have a free gift in the East Vestibule. Please go and see the attendant in the vestibule and please claim your free gift. We thank you so much for uh, coming and giving us a visit. Now we'd like to welcome you. Let the food eat in me. Love the food eat in you. Let the food eat in me. Love the food eat in you. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Easy to love. You may be seated in the presence of our Lord and Savior. All right. <laughs> Woo! I swear I ain't had no edibles yet. We got to cook. I don't know how. Okay. So we got to do a couple things. First thing I'm going to do is get my Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. Now, if you're looking for a Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet, do not go to shopdariuscooks.com until I email you. All right. 40,000 on the way. Okay. So I'm going to heat up this skillet a little bit. All right, and we gotta do some work on the pan. Yes. So we're gonna grab us a cutting board like this. Now, the way you keep your cutting board from sliding everywhere is you get you a damp paper towel, or in this case, a cloth. I don't know what kind of cloth this is. This might be the one Mary had on when her and her homegirls went they left Publix, and they had went down to the tomb with the with the lorries and the garlic powder and the black. They had went down there. That's what the Bible said. And that he wasn't there. What was he? Risen. Okay. That probably that reminded me of what she had on on her head. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. What you gotta do? Tell Martha not. Tomorrow. Okay, I'm getting the onion while I'm over here singing. That's y'all problem. You don't sing enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, it was not Lori's. It was Tony Satchery's. Okay. Mary might have had a little piece of adobo when she knew that. And not that one made by Goya. I wonder what she going to take the spices and season them like KFC seasoned chicken. I wonder. What y'all think? I mean, I wasn't there, so. Hell, you wasn't either, matter of fact. Was you? No. Okay, I got me a little piece of onion, okay? Now, what onion do you use? The one that's on sale. Grand Rising King Darius and Love from Cleveland. Grand Rising to you too, TikTok. I'm not that deep. Good morning, me. Okay. <laughs> Grand rising. What am I, a biscuit? <laughs> okay. You gonna take your little onion? <laughs> Grand rising. It's my name, Pillsbury. I know I'm fat, but damn. Okay, we're gonna cut this onion up a little bit. 
<laughs> Why do y'all watch me? You know I don't have a liquor sense. <laughs> That's all that 1800 we put in now. Okay, so I'm chopping up a little piece of onion. Now, the Bible says if you're going to use onion, you got to use garlic to go with it. Paul wrote that. New Testament. Where is it? Start in Genesis and read until Revelation. I swear it's going to come across your stuff. You're going to be like, Darius said that. He is anointed. I'm going to be like, and is. I got the garlic. Please stop using that garlic in a jar. Y'all makes me so upset with that. I be wanting to cuss, but I'm trying to stay safe. I'm trying to make it to heaven. Okay, that's my goal. All right, so I'm going to slice me a little garlic. A couple of cloves. You know black folks. If it ain't eight cloves of garlic, I don't want it. Any recipe say, put a little bit. Load that shit. Yeah. Okay. Now, in my skillet, it was getting warm on the back here. So, I'm going to leave a couple of turns of olive oil. Okay. Maybe a couple more turns. And then, I'm going to take this little onion I chopped up and this garlic. I'm going to put that in the skillet. Okay. You right. This thing I hit already, child. Okay. Baby, you are absolutely right. Okay. Okay. Now, you hear that sizzle? It's music to my ears. All right? So now what I want to do, I'm going to add me some rice. Now, you know the golden rule comes to rice two to one. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay? Two to one. Two part liquid, uh, was it one or two? Child, same difference. Noah's common denominator, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we do this. This is basmati rice. Now, you can use any rice for this, right? Just no brown rice or wild rice. It take long, too much, it takes too long to cook. But, regular white rice can work, okay? Now, I am pouring into this vessel. It don't matter what you use to measure, just keep the uh, ratios the same. All right? That's math. Thank you. Okay, so into here, I'm gonna add this rice with this garlic and the onion, all right? If you need to rinse off and wash off your rice, please, whichever way the spirit leads you. That was 10 turns. Who's counting? <laughs> You're so nosy. What's your name? What is your name? Tiffany Hicks. She a top fan. She is nosy. TikTok. I swear. I do not apologize for what I said last night. <laughs> okay. Now stir this together. Because you really want to make sure that uh, this is why I put the oil in there. So I said like, 10 turns. It's a lot of rice. You want to make sure all the rice gets contact time with um with the oil and the onion and the garlic. Okay. Please make sure your stuff tastes good. Some of y'all stuff, I ain't gonna talk about you. All right, <laughs> not tonight. Okay, let me get a bowl. Cause it's a good idea to measure out another drink. Cantoritos, all right? It's really supposed to be a grapefruit drink, but I put the white peach in there because I'm fat. Refill? Mm -hmm. Oh, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. There we are. All right, Cantoritos. What was said last night? I'm going to tell you what I said last night. I said... TikTok, don't unfollow me for this, all right? What I said to everybody is on TikTok, I said, um, I said on TikTok, I said, uh, they've been talking about me a lot, all right? And I said, you would talk, but you would never say it to my face. That's what I said. And they won't. 
Okay? They won't. So listen, this is what we're doing. We're toasting um, the rice, okay? Please don't walk away from this. Keep that going on, because you don't want to mess this up, all right? It smells so good. I ain't got no but garlic and onion. <laughs> okay, that's what I said, TikTok. Because they said I was scamming on TikTok. All them videos. I ain't seen all of them. I seen a couple of them. They tagged me. But you want to say it to my face? And I meant it. Okay, so I said, uh, I forgot what I said. I think I said two to one. Two parts of liquid, one part rice. Okay, so I'm getting my liquid ready in this bowl. The reason I'm using this glass is because, number one, I'm ghetto. Number two, I want to show you that it does not matter what vessel you use, all right? You can use a measuring cup if you want to, or you can use um, a rice measurer like this. See, you call it a glass. I call it a rice measurer. I don't care what you use it for, all right? What can it be used for? And I just preached the whole word right there. Huh? No matter what they call you. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. Please do not walk away from this. Okay, do not walk away. Because this will burn real fast on you, okay? And you see my rice is turning like this like brownish, amberish color. What we're doing is we're cooking out all of the, uh, the starch. That way, our rice, the grain, the, the, the grains of the rice will separate, okay? If I stumble over my words, it's because of that Jose Cuero, okay? It's because of Bishop Jose, all right? Because I know how to talk when I'm not tipsy. <laughs> okay. I got to tell you one more thing real fast. Listen up. Um, you got to season it. He don't know what he's talking about and he's faking being tipsy. See, Junior B, that's how you get blocked. Your mama, all right? Your mama, okay? Uh, you got to season this, okay? Because if you don't season this, it's going to be a problem. Now, the Bible says whatever's in the water gets absorbed into the rice. So if there's no flavor in the water, no flavor in the rice. I'm going to add this water right in here, okay? Because my rice is ready to go. It's going to bubble real good, so be careful. You hear that? What does that sound like? Music to my ears, okay? The Bible got rice instructions. Yes! Start at Genesis. Go all the way to Revelation. Read that and you'll run into it. <laughs> all right, let's season this up a little bit with a little piece of bouillon. You know, I like chicken bouillon. And they got this, this one out here that's like all natural and stuff like that. You could use chicken stock if you have some readily available. But I don't have none. Somebody said, I made you open up grains and gravy again. No. <laughs> That's over. That ship has sailed. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay. So I put me a little bouillon in here. Uh, a little chicken bouillon. So you let that rice cook on out and get real good on us. Okay. Now let's talk about the next part of our meal. Okay. Let me tell you what I got. The anointing. That's what I got. Okay? So, I got my pressure cooker. You know, I use this. I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what y'all say. That Darius Cook's pressure cooker is the bomb. I'm using one that's dented because I can't sell it. So, it became mine. But I'm telling you something, bread. That ramen from last night, pressure cooker. I reheated it. What's wrong? It's gone. Jerome took it to lunch. And then he said one of his coworkers was like, um, what's that? And then he gave him some. 
He said, let me taste it. And he gave it to him. That ramen was gone. He said it was delicious. Mm -hmm. And I put the chicken saburo in there, which is like ground chicken with like brown sugar. Yeah, and I it. Oh, you watched it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can totally use chicken stock. I just don't have none, okay? Okay, what I do have is half a chuck roast. Okay, this is a chuck roast. I got half of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this. <laughs> she said her daughter said nothing special. Okay, if you've never been dining with Darius Cooks, you have no idea what that means. So it's a cute inside joke. Basically, I know the food be good every course. So I be like, oh, it's nothing special. What's up, YouTube? I see y'all. Facebook, hey. So I be like, oh, it's nothing special. A little something I just threw together. So they laughing at that. Okay. So in my um, pressure cooker, I got this piece of pot roast. Okay. Do me a favor. Just go with me for a second, all right? Can you trust me? I promise I'm not going to lead you astray, all right? All I'm putting in here is chicken bouillon and water. That's it. Okay? I know y'all like, <laughs> there he is. What? What are you doing? I've got something up my sleeve. Stay tuned. All right, you put some water on here. And to be honest with you, an hour, about all you need, okay? One hour. Now, you know, if you was doing this the regular way, it would take you longer than an hour, okay? But all you need is about an hour. How long do you cook a pot roast in the oven? About three hours at least, right? <laughs> leave me, hold on, leave me, leave me alone, okay? Um, that is very uncomfortable. Talk about some of my meat not on a leash. It's tough, deal with it. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, pressure cooker. Normally you cook for about what, three hours? One hour. Short ribs, pot roast, oxtails, turkey wings. One hour, okay? That's all you need. Let me put it on, hold on. Hold the line. Okay, I'm gonna put it on meat stew. I'll put it on for one hour. That's it. Now, let's keep going with the rest of our meal, okay? Somebody looking too hard? What's this? I'm sexy. Somebody say, it's a new kitchen. A thief can't stay on a spot. And Kane, here's what, this is what I got to say, okay? TikTok. Because they're the only ones that hate me. Tick, well, Twitter too, but TikTok. TikTok, can you do me one favor? Let me scam in peace. All right? Let me steal. Let me be a crook. And let me scam in peace. All right? I ain't bothering nobody. Why you got to bother me? Hmm? Mm-hmm. I just a little piece of onion left. I'm gonna use it because it's it's times it's hard. Okay, Nancy Pelosi that went over there to China, Taiwan. The people do not want her over there. They finna start a war. They finna come bomb us. But let me say what you don't want it with. You do not want it with hillbilly ass Joe Biden. Okay, did you see Joe Biden went and killed that man from 9/11? 
went to his house with a drone. Something that fly like this here. Okay? And killed that whole, took him out of here. I said, Lord Jesus. They said you be blocking them on Instagram. I probably do because they be acting a fucking fool. I probably do block them on Instagram. And if I found out you on him, I block you on here too. All right? I don't block people. No, I don't block people. You block you. See, I'm a vessel chosen by God. Okay? That's what I am. I'm a vessel chosen by God. If you get blocked on Instagram because you did something you ain't got no business doing, and that's why the hell you got blocked. See what I'm saying? And I'll put you on the block list to the block club party. Go over there and step in the name of love. Stop, step, side to side, round and round, dip it now, step on right, bring it back, and let me see you do the last slide. 30 years, child. Oh, I'm so mad at him. I ain't gonna say much, because you know when you tell your opinion on social media, it go viral. Y'all got mad at Gordon Ramsay, right? Now, all Gordon Ramsay did was went to them people. <laughs> he went to them. <laughs> all, all, Gordon, <laughs> all Gordon Ramsay did was went to them people's farm, okay? <laughs> it was a couple of sheep running around. <laughs> Some lamb. He rubbed his fingers together and y'all got mad at him. Okay? Why? I don't know. Why is you mad at Gordon Ramsay? All he did was say, oh, you look yummy. Which one going first? As if y'all don't eat lamb chops. Okay? <laughs> As if y'all don't eat. Y'all love lamb chops. You know how I know? That's all y'all be making. <laughs> Let me stop before I get in trouble. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Yes, I am a little bit. <laughs> okay, this is onion. Come on, y'all. We got to cook because I got to be up early in the morning. I ain't got time to fool y'all tonight. Okay? So this is onion. Okay? Do you like onion? I don't care if you do or you don't, but we're going to put some over here. Okay? And then also, next to my onion, I have some bell pepper. Okay? Whatever can you like. It don't matter. Oh, hold on one second. Let me tell you what's going on with this here. See, the liquid has cooked out of the rice, okay? But the rice is not done. You got to put a lid on top. Now, this is not the lid that came with this pan because there's no lid come with this pan. That's like, I don't have no lid for y'all. But I'm going to use this lid with my emerald and gold, and it's going to work just fine, see? Okay, push that the back of the stove. Let it sit there. And don't touch it. Okay? Do not touch that until it's time to work on it. Okay? All right. Now, here's what else we got. We have a Bella pepper. This is a red bell. I think red was on sale. Green was on sale, too, but orange and yellow, they're not on sale. Mm-mm. Where they at? Sitting in Publix? <laughs> Waiting on the sale price to change? I'm not playing with y'all. Uh -uh. Okay, how much money I got? Bell peppers? And you wait till I move and I'm growing on my own. I'm growing every color. Pink. I'm going to have the gayest bell pepper ever. <laughs> my bell pepper going to get... I'm going to walk past it. It's going to be singing, I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want done, baby. The bell pepper would do it naturally. All right. Cut this in strips. Okay. We will cut these in strips like this here. See? So this is onion. Let me get my, my pot hot because... I'm doing too much talking, not enough cooking, huh? I'm doing too much talking and not enough cooking. I'm gonna work this skillet out in one second, okay? More bell pepper. 
Did you know bell pepper is very healthy? It has tons of vitamin C. It has tons of, I don't know child. <laughs> Let's make it up. It has tons of antioxidant properties. It's loaded with vitamin, vitamins A, C, D, and K. What is vitamin K? What did it do? I don't know. I made it up. Do they say I steal? So it's right in my wheelhouse. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here like this, see? All right, and get this going a little bit. I wanna kinda get these sauteed down before I add my garlic. It don't bite, as long as it tastes good. What's up, Dallas? I love you. What's this? Onion and bell pepper. Come on. I'm gonna put me a couple of turns of oil in this pan. Y'all really be thinking it'd be a lot. It don't. That's barely a, wait, hold on. You can't see it, but it's barely a teaspoon. I mean a tablespoon, barely a tablespoon. Okay. Put the onion and the bell pepper into that with the oil, okay? And then all I'm gonna add is a little tinge of kosher salt. That's it for now. Oh, but you know the seasonings are coming, okay? A little salt. Now, what does salt do? It seasons it, but at the same time, once you season it a little bit, it helps like break down the cells and the walls of the vegetables. It releases the juices, and that's what gives you the flavor that we need. For where we going tonight. Look at your neighbor and say flavor. Thank you. This is not hoochie daddy short. Because I'm not a hoochie daddy. I'm saved. I don't do that. All the time. <laughs> Little grenadine. Cheers. Not y'all typing flavor in the comments. <laughs> Not y'all typing flavor in the comments. All right, while that's working out, we have a few more things to do. Let's start with some mango. Okay, now I happen to like mango. I, mango ain't never did nothing to me. And I think mango is delicious, okay? I let my mango sit for a day or two before I cut into it. That way, I know it is ripe, okay? Like the dew in the morning. Gently rest upon my heart, okay? Like the dew in the morning. Okay, cut this out. A little bit like this here. See, we're gonna cut around this. Where's my other knife at? I don't like this knife. Y'all, hold on. Bam. We're gonna cut around the pit of the knife, okay? Look at that. Beautiful. Cut around the pit of the knife, of the mango. <laughs> It's the Cantoritos. They is cantorito in, okay? See that? This is called mango. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna grab some, I know y'all like, where is he going with this? Where is he, what the hell is he cooking? Why is there rice? Why is there onions? Why, is, where the hell is he going? Stay tuned. I'm a blessing. That's why I don't tell y'all nothing. Because you just going to have to watch and see. Okay? Just watch and see. Alright, I'm going to pull some of the 
mango meat, see, out of here, like this here, see. This is mango meat, see that? Okay, that's mango. Has anybody had the mangoes at Sam's Clubs yet? Let me tell you something. I done told them pineapples apart. I can't eat no more pineapples. I cannot eat another pineapple from Sam's Club ever again. I have eaten so many pineapples from Sam's Club. It is ridiculous, okay? Then they ran out of pineapples and I've seen they had mangoes. I'm not doing it. Ah. Uh -uh. No, nope, I'm not doing it. I want to do it. <laughs> But I'm not doing it. No mangoes for me. Okay. I'm going to pull the meat. Oh, let me check my peppers. Hold on. And my onions. Oh, yeah. Smell good. My pan will dry though. Hold on. All right. I'm going to caramelize that. Check the peppers, I got this. I don't care how drunk I get. I ain't never burned nothing on live. That, except for that one time I burned that fish. But that's all right, it don't count. It was, <laughs> it was almond flour. <laughs> okay, that's it. I did drop them brownies though. And y'all won't let me leave that shit down at all, okay? All right, let's cut this into little um, dices. This is fresh mango cut into dice. I'm gonna put it in this little bowl right here, okay? Look, this is where I'm going, y'all see that? Ooh, I that put that in like an old Southwest plane, don't it? <laughs> I dropped that like Southwest be landing, don't it? Woo, I said, damn. Oh wait, hold on. I said, damn, Southwest, I could land this better. When you be on Southwest, this the plane. This the plane, and this how they land. Southwest don't give a shit about them wheels, okay? I looked around like, damn, Southwest. Now, the only airline that can leave late and get, early, get there early is Southwest. That's the only airline. I commend them for leaving late and getting there early. However, they might get there early, but bitch, I mean, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot I was, I don't forget I was on live, child. Ooh. Southwest will leave late, get there early. But your bags is going to take two hours to get to that carousel. Okay? They're going to make up their time <laughs> at that carousel. Okay? <laughs> Diced mango. Okay? Diced mango. Are y'all having a good time tonight? I hope so, because I am. Okay? I'm just caramelizing a little bit of onion and bell pepper situation. A little salt is it and olive oil. Okay? That's all I did so far. Okay? Put that back on. Let that go. Okay. I'm going to try to contain myself without cutting up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. Let's get some onion. All right, because onion's gonna be very important in this, all right? I have worn these white onions out because the red onions were not on sale. Okay, so a little onion goes a long way. Okay, so, and you wanna, you wanna like thinly dice. You don't want no big chunks of onion in this, okay? That's about all we need about them. About four, four half moons. All right. Thinly, thinly dice. Mm. 
okay? And then I'm gonna throw this onion in here with this mango. I know y'all like, where in the hell is Darius going with this? Don't worry about it, to heaven. I mean, not, not real heaven, like play heaven. More like play heaven, because I, I can't go to heaven yet. I gotta be in Memphis Thursday. Shout out to Memphis. And shout out to um my girls, LaShawn and Faye Weaver. I don't know if y'all watching or not, but y'all have been supporting me for years. Y'all came on the cruise this. Y'all done did Dinah with Darius Cooks. You got cookbooks. Thank you so much. Y'all held on to your tickets from two years ago because of COVID. And this weekend, I will be in Memphis, Tennessee to feed you real good. So shout out to everybody who coming to Memphis. Last week, we were in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We'll talk about that sandwich. And then Promancy Brothers. We'll discuss it. And then before that, I did six nights in New York City. So if anybody's interested in dining with Darius Cooks, everything for this year is sold out. So I have no tickets for 2022, but 2023 are on sale at shopdariuscooks.com. Okay? Thank you. All right, let's put a little piece of jalapeno in this because we can't do that. Okay, keep your onions and peppers moving a little bit. All right, a little more oil in there. All right, but keep your onions and peppers moving. Don't let them stick on you. All right, let them caramelize and, and break on down and turn nice and sweet. Okay. Now, it depends on how spicy you like it. And some of y'all, I've seen your Twitter. You like it spicy. I'm not judging, though. Okay? Lest ye be judged. <laughs> in the same manner in which you judge. <laughs> you too shall also be judged. I'm not judging. All right, I'm going to do a very fine dice on the jalapeno in your business, okay? Because I don't want that much. And I don't want to bite down onto a ginormous piece of jalapeno pepper because ain't no God in that. Okay? So look at how fine I have diced up my jalapeno pepper, all right? And you can put as much as you like, all right? If you like it spicy, like your Twitter. Somebody said he's a seasoned chef. He prepared everything before cooking. No, he didn't, chef. Hit the go live button, and you shall get what you're going to get. Open. Yeah. Girl, open. Okay, so this is the um, how you get my cookbook, shopdariuscooks.com. So we got mango, onion, and jalapeno, okay? I'm going to put a little piece of garlic in here. A couple cloves. All you need, two cloves, okay? Three. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. Let's mince. So we smash... Smash, smash, and then we chop, chop, and we chop, okay? Smash, 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 and then we chop, 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 okay? Minced garlic. Right in. Let me check these peppers. Oh yeah. See? Look at what we got. You see where we're going with this? Okay, you see where we're going? Nice and caramelized. Alright. Nice and low, like a medium low heat. Not, not a big flame on this. Alright. Well, there ain't no fire, but you know what I'm trying to tell you. You get the idea. Okay, onion. Mango, jalapeno, garlic. 
We need some lime juice. It don't matter who squirrels it. All right. Now, you know, lime juices could be like your ex. Sometimes. All right. Sometimes they got juice. And sometimes they don't. So what I like to do is use a fork to fork my limes, okay? So fresh squeezed lime juice in there, all right? Look at that. See, when you fork it like that, you get a lot of juice that come out. And a little pulp, I'm good with all of that, okay? You see that? All right, I'm gonna do two limes because as Tabitha Brown says, that's my business, all right? I like it limey. Another lime juice. Okay, and one more piece of lime. So this is the juice of two limes going in here. Now between you, me, and the gate post, if you don't have fresh limes and you want to use lime juice in the jar, I'm not judging. Okay? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am not judging. Okay? Look at that. Oh, you see that caramelization happening? You see that sweetness cooking down? Okay, you see that? Let's get some garlic in this as that cooks cooks on down, all right? So I'm gonna slice up a couple of cloves. You decide how much you like, okay? Now, if you notice, a little technique. I didn't put the garlic in with the onion and bell pepper. Why not? If you add the garlic with the onion and bell pepper, it is going to burn. And once it burns, it turns bitter. And where is God? Not in that, okay? So garlic goes in, so it can start to work itself out, all right? Let's finish our mango pico de gallo, okay? So I have mango, red onion, no, mango, regular onion, jalapeno, lime juice. I'm not done, okay? I like to put a little oil in my pico de gallo. Some of y'all be having an attitude about this, but I don't care, because I like it, okay? A little pinch of salt. All right, a little pinch of black pepper. Like this here, see? No black pepper. And you know what I like to add in mine? I don't care if you don't put it in yours. I'm gonna put a little sugar in mine, okay? Just a little, a little taste of sugar. Okay? Because what the little sugar is gonna do is help break down the acidity from the lime and the mango, okay? Just a pinch like that is all you need, okay? Not that much, just a pinch, okay? And we need one more real good ingredient. Cilantro. Don't worry. I have some. Okay, let me risk this out. All right, I got me a little cilantro. I'm gonna tell you one thing about me. I love. That was not a jar of sugar. See, TikTok, this is why y'all stay on my shit list. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this is the re, see TikTok, 
This the reason y'all stay on my shit list, okay? There was a little pinch of sugar. I put in two limes. What are limes? Acidic, okay? Who wants to bite down on some pot roast tacos with mango pico de gallo with two limes hit them in the face? Nobody. See what I'm saying? Look what y'all stay on my shit list right here. TikTok. Hold on, I'm cussing them out. Y'all, hold on one second. I'm cussing out TikTok. This is why y'all, see, this is the reason why right here. You see what I'm saying? I don't put this mango in here. Mango be tart sometimes. Mango is not that sweet. I don't put this jalapeno in here so you got some heat. I don't put this onion in here so that's bitter. I don't also put the lime juice in there, okay? You're going to need to put some sugar in there to balance out all that acidity. It's the bad recipe for you. Hold on, let me block this person. Who is this? Junie B, how I block you on TikTok? Block. Oh, wait. At, follow, manage. Block. Now you ain't got to worry about it no more. All right? Anybody else want to join Junior? Facebook, hold on. Facebook friends, hold on. Instagram, hold on. YouTube, hold on. Anybody else want to join um, sis over here? Anybody else want to join her? Because you can go with her. While you blocking folks, all right, you finna go too. Hold on, y'all. I got to, hold on one second. You know, when your hands wet, it don't work. Hold on. I'm going to block all you. Hold on one second. While you blocking folks, easy. Hold on one second. Block, you gone. Who else want to go? Hey, love you too. Block me. Hold on, where you at? Bye. Manage, block. Who else want to go? Confirm, blocked. Who else want to get blocked? Your hand on the speaker? Okay, you good. Anybody else? Hold on one second, y'all. Who else want to go? Yeah, I'm serious. Who else want to go? You just got here? All right, act good. Behave yourself or you won't be here long. Come on, Okay, yeah, my hand is on my home here. Okay, gay as fuck. Who else wanna go? Where you going to the block club party? Who else wanna go with her? This TikTok. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to let you go like a bad habit. I will drop you like a bad habit. Moderate you? How I make you a moderator? Hold on, Tashante. Manage. Add moderator. Go in, sis. Block all these hoes. Moderate you too. Can I add you as a moderator? Hold on. Moderate me too. Hold on, sunshine. Let me see if I can add you as a moderator. Matt, I got two moderators. Let's go. I want you to get every hole. Stop. Excuse me, y'all. I want you to get every hole that got something negative to say. Block date asses. You from Chicago? Hold on, hold on, um, Shot Town. Sweet buttercream, you a moderator too. Here you go. I got three moderators on TikTok. I want you to let their asses have it. Praise the Lord, everybody. Tick, I mean, Facebook, hold on. I mean, what's this called? This is Instagram. Instagram, I got the one minute mark. Hold on, I'm finna restart y'all, okay? Hold on. They only, they only give me an hour on this thing now. I don't know why they brought that back. That's stupid as hell. That's the dumbest shit. Let them go. Okay. To everybody else who's still here, cilantro. <laughs> okay, we'll cut up a little piece of cilantro. And by little, I mean a lot, because I like cilantro. Okay? Oh, they getting them. Left and right on TikTok. Let them go. Let them go. Knock them. Knock them out. One by one. Block them. Praise the Lord, everybody. Okay. So I'm going to add me a little cilantro. I'm, I'm back. <laughs> a little fresh cilantro. Okay. I'm going to put the fresh cilantro into my mango with the oil and the sugar and the onion and all the lime juice and all that. Now, I know the people in Mexico don't use sugar in their pico de gallo. Child. 
I done dropped my whole drink. Jesus. I done dropped my whole drink. Good thing I got some more waiting on me. Hold on. Clean up on aisle four. That's what I get for blocking everybody. <laughs> Y'all probably saying, good. That's what you get. Your mama. <laughs> You'll get blocked too. That's all right. What I got? Pick up the guy up. Just like that. See? When you're professional, you can do that. All right? Now, this is my mango pico de gallo. Okay? This is my mango pico. Let me taste it and see what it needs. Let me see. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. It's, am it's amazing. Okay, I'm going to put it into a little bowl like this. Okay. And we're going to hold it to the side. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they got them, boy. Oh, TikTok got them. Hard seltzer was blocked. Wasn't so hard after all. Who else? You got them? Get them. Get all of their asses. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay. Let me show you what else I got. Come on, y'all. We got to finish this up. Cause we've been on here forever. Okay. I got to go to bed. Now, I got that pot roast. Right? Remember that pot roast we put on? Well, you know it's not done. It take an hour. And it's still got 41 minutes left. However, I got some pot roast from yesterday, okay, that I whipped up. So this is pot roast from yesterday, and look how tender this chuck roast is. You see how it just comes apart like that? Huh? So we're just going to shred a little of the pot roast just like this, because I already got some already done, all right? I know you were not thinking I'm going to sit up here and wait an hour for that to finish when I already got some. What's up? What's up? You see how tender it is? Look, it just fall apart. After an hour, this is how your pot roast do. Okay? It just fall apart like this. See that? All right. Now we got pot roast. Ready to go with our onions and bell peppers. All right, let me show you how we do this. Who y'all think y'all playing with? All right, we're gonna take our pot roast into our caramelized onions and peppers. Is we eating or is we eating? Huh? Is we eating or is we eating? That's why I caramelize the onions and bell peppers first, okay? Because I knew the pot roast was already done. Back on the stove, this goes. To heat through, all right? But we got to season this, yes? Okay, so let's talk about seasoning, people, so we can make our plate, all right? Let's talk about seasoning. I need some of this. I need... Some of this. I need some of this. I'm gonna need some of this. I'm gonna need some of this. I'm gonna need some of this. And then I'm gonna need some of this. And then I'm gonna need. Hold on, I'm getting my stuff, y'all. Hold the line. Some of this, some of this.
Thank you. This is what you need. All this to make that taste good, okay? Speaking of taste good, let's season it. All right? First up, a little bit of cumin. Okay? Next up, a little bit of dried oregano. Next up, a little bit of chili powder. This is ancho chili powder. Come on, flavor. What y'all thought? Next up is a little coriander. All right. Next up is a little onion powder. Next up, a pinch of red pepper flake. And lastly, a little bit of uh, garlic. Okay, just garlic powder. That's what you need. If you don't come bust up the scene like this, do not come to the scene. Take a screenshot of this, please. If your next boyfriend or your next girlfriend do not bust up the scene like this, don't go with them. Okay? Because this what you need. Let me smile first. Hold on one second. I'm going to go camera to camera, okay? This is for Facebook, my fan page. Hold on. Okay, my Facebook friends. Hold on, Instagram. Okay, YouTube. And then TikTok. Y'all ready? Screenshot that. Okay, this back on the stove. All right, let me get my tongs. I'm just gonna give this a good mix. Okay, so this is that onion. Look at this, first of all. Onion, bell pepper, the garlic, all right? All the seasonings in the world. Did we put salt in this? What we put? And a piece of salt. <coughs> Did we? Ooh, who am I? Let me put a little salt. Let me see what it need. Hold on. Hold on, let me see what it need. It might need some. Mm -mm. I don't need that. Okay, back on the stove. Let that heat through. I'm gonna put a little water in there. So we can start making this juice, you know? This is a little water. All right. So let's talk about this rice. You forgot we made it, didn't you? I didn't. Okay, let's talk about this rice. So I did the rice. All I did was um, cooked it in a little bit of onion and garlic. That's it. Okay. That's all I did. I toasted it up. So I know my rice is beautiful and ready to roll, okay? How do I know? Because I know. Look at this. You see this? Look at that. You see how you fluff it and the rice comes out perfect every single time, okay? It comes out perfect every two to one. Two parts rice, one part, no. <laughs> one part rice, two part child. Do what I, rewind the video. I forgot what the hell I said do, but do that, okay? Now let's make this little uh, situation for our rice, because you know we're not done. For this, you're going to need your blender. Let's roll. I'm talking about I'm ready, okay? I'm ready to cook. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Into a blender, 
Remember that cilantro with the stems and stuff that I didn't use that's right here? Now we're going to use them. Because the cilantro stems got flavor too. And you pay for these. And you know cilantro is expensive. Especially with the cartel and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that go to waste. It would be a shame. Okay? Now, to my cilantro, I got one, two, three. A couple of cloves of garlic. Okay? Not that much. Just a little bit. All right? I got me a little piece of salt and a little piece of pepper. Okay? Remember those limes? I'm gonna have me a little lime juice to this. All right, put you a little piece of lime juice. Oh, I got some for you, Doc. Okay? Here we go. Lime juice one. And lime juice two. Okay. Remember that jalapeno that we didn't use all of? I got me a little slice in there. Okay. You need a lot of oil, so please don't don't do not um have a conniption. Okay. That's what pesto is. So a little quick cilantro pesto situation. Okay. Put the lid on. Cut that on. And glue it together. Now let's work this out with this rice. Let me show you what we're gonna do with this rice, all right? This is probably my favorite way to make like rice whenever it comes to like mexican -y stuff, Latin stuff. I'm gonna take this beautiful cilantro pesto. I'm gonna throw this cilantro pesto right into this rice. Thank you, okay? I'm going to give this a mix and put this on a low heat so that it starts to cook all the way through on this rice. Okay? A low heat is all you need. All right? Look at my pot roast, okay, that has been cooking in with the onion and the bell pepper and the garlic, can you see this? Huh, can you see that? Oh, I know, oh, I know, oh, I know. You ain't got to tell me flavor upon flavor upon flavor, all right? I may add a little chicken bouillon, let me see, a little beef bouillon, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, a little beef bouillon. Half of one, a little. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm, mmm. Okay, I'm putting me a little bouillon in here. Just to beef up, <laughs> no pun intended, the flavor, okay? I'm going to break it up with my hand. It's a little beef bouillon. Y'all know. Good plan. All right. Uh-oh, hold on. I done dropped it. I said I'm supposed to break it up. Beautiful. All right. A little bit more water. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. All right, and we'll keep this warm until we're ready to use it. We gotta do one more little thing, y'all. All right. Do y'all like black beans? We don't really cook with black beans a lot over here. But let me tell you something. I happen to love a black bean, okay? The only thing about black beans, though, is you got to make sure you drain these suckers, okay? Because if you don't drain these, they don't be good. Now, this is La Costeña. This is not Goya. And you know why. Okay? Uh-uh. This is not Goya. You please drain your beans, okay? Do not put these in here straight from this can or else I'm gonna cuss you clean out like I just did TikTok, okay? 
We're going to drain our black beans off. All right, and we're going to get all this stuff off the black beans. And I'm going to take my rinsed black beans and throw them right into my rice with the cilantro pesto, all right? Give that a little quick stir and make the black beans cook on through there real good, all right? If you don't like black beans, you can omit them, but try it like this. I guarantee you it's going to change your whole entire life, okay? I swear to God. You're going to be like, damn, Darius. I'm like, I know I told you. Okay. Um, that's it. Let's make ourselves a taco. Mm hmm. Let's make ourselves a little taco. Here's what we do. Only thing I think I feel like I really, really want on my taco on my pot roast taco with my beautiful rice with cilantro pesto is a little piece of avocado. I got some though, don't play with me. Okay. I have an avocado. Let me turn this uh, beef down for it been done burning. Hold on y'all. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Can you see that? This is pot roast, okay? That we have turned into tacos. You see that? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let me see. <laughs> Baby. Okay, look at that. You see that? Hold on. Would you block me if I'm a Trump supporter? No, girl, you can support Trump if you want to. We ain't gonna block you. We gonna talk about you, but we ain't gonna block you. Okay, if you a Trump supporter, support him. All right? Now, I don't fool with him, but by all means, baby. Hold on one second. Mm. Okay. I don't fool with them, but if you like them. See, here's what I think, sis. I think we should be able to have different opinions, but still be respectful. You see what I'm saying? We should be able to have different opinions about what we feel or who we support. Because I heard somebody tell me one time, she said last week, she said, I am morally Democrat, but fiscally Republican. <laughs> okay? Because you lead up to AOC, we all going to be broke. Okay, let me get a little, uh, um, a spoon and get this avocado up out here. All right. And then let's put together these little tacos we got. Let me show you how we're going to do it, okay? Put me a little avocado in here like this. See? Boom. And then, because I know I like extra avocado, let me get the pit out and let's do the second piece of avocado, okay? And then we're going to slice it and throw it on a taco, a pot roast taco. My grandmother made the best pot roast. I'm telling you, she did. And the pot roast that she made, let me tell you how I know it was good. Okay? Because grandma used to put... <laughs> See, they don't do it no more these days. Okay? But grandma used to put... I'm not tipsy. A lot. In the roasting pan. The black one with the white polka dots. She cooked turkey and dressing in that. 
She cook um, pot roast in that. She cooked shit, everything in that child. Okay, so here's my avocado. I'm gonna put me a little salt right on top of my avocado. All right. See, look at that seal. See that? Yes, the, the black pot with the dome lid. And let me tell you how lazy she was. Let me tell you how lazy she was. She took that dome lid and put it upside down and put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then what grandma used to do. Take that dome lid. Okay, that dome lid, she would cut upside down and put it in the refrigerator. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I'm from Chicago, all right? So it was always cold. It wasn't no global warming when I was growing up. I don't know where the hell that came from, okay? But grandma used to put the food on the back porch on the holidays because it was no um it was no room in the fridge there. You see what I'm saying? Okay, got me a little couple of tortillas that you could fry these up in a little oil. I'm trying to be a little, little healthier. I'm gonna warm them up a second in the microwave, okay? Speaking of microwave, can we talk about finishing up our rice? Okay, look at this. So this is the rice with the cilantro pesto and the black beans. Look how good this looks. Look at that. It's only missing one thing. It's only missing one thing. Some queso fresco. Either queso fresco or cotija cheese. Either one. Okay. And queso fresco is like a Mexican... Um, crumbling cheese, kind of similar to feta a little bit, but you can kind of get in here, break it up, all right, and crumble this queso fresco all over this rice situation. If this ain't fat, I don't know what is, all right? Now, I'm going to mix this up off the um, burner because what I want is for the heat of this to melt some, okay? Not all the way, but just a little bit, okay? All right, and meld that saltiness into, oh my God, let me taste this. Cause I don't know how this tastes. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but I wanna make sure it's got enough salt going on in it, okay? Let me see. Because the last thing I need for this not to taste good. Let me see. Child. Listen. That's perfect. Okay. Now, I'm going to make one taco to go with my Cantorito. One taco. to go with my Cantorito. Let me grab me a little salsa, okay? And let's put this together. See, you didn't know what we was going at first. What is he cooking? What is he doing? Magic, okay? A little piece of tortilla, okay? And a little piece of this beef that's been sitting over there this is um, pot, leftover pot roast that's been sitting over there, okay? I'm gonna add me a little pot roast uh -huh, to my warm tortilla, okay? Yes. Don't forget, we made a little mango pico de gallo, okay? So a little mango pico de gallo right on top of here, okay? For a little fun. Not done yet. Whew. Ain't no need to 
to worry it. What the night is going to bring. Because it'll be all over. In the morning. In the morning. Okay, and this is thick and creamy sour cream. Put a little bit of that on there, okay? Like that, all right? Remember them um, avocados? Put you a little sliver of avocado on the side like this here, see? And then what I'm gonna do is the cilantro that I had already washed before I put it in. I'm gonna put me a little piece of cilantro right on top, see? Well, a piece, not the whole stem, Darius. Get you a little piece, okay? Put you a little piece of cilantro. Oh, right up here. Okay, so we just made pot roast tacos, mango pico de gallo, and a little bit of uh, rice with a little cilantro pesto, queso fresco, and black bean. All right, let me go camera to camera so y'all can see what I'm working with, okay? This is TikTok, okay? See that? This is YouTube. What's up, YouTube? I love y'all, okay? This is Instagram. How you doing? Okay, this is Facebook, my Facebook personal page, and then this is my Facebook fan page, okay? And then all I want to do is take me a little piece of line. All right, that's the only thing this is missing besides going in my mouth is a little piece of lime that I'm going to squeeze right on top, okay? So you take you a little sliver like this, see? Taco Tuesday. What y'all thought we was going to be doing, huh? A little sliver like this, and you do a little squeeze right here. All right, let me get a fork. And now all you got to do is bow your, hold on, Calvary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now all you got to do is bow your head and say grace, grace, all right? And we're going to see what this is hitting on, okay? Come on, come on. Mm. Hold on. I don't know for real. Let me see. Mm. 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 Y'all see this? Like, legit. Okay? Mm. Let me try this rice. Now listen, two things I want to tell you, <laughs> all right, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food, y'all. Until next time, tomorrow. I want to wish you a happy cooking, a happy drinking, and a happy eating. From my heart to yours. <laughs> so good.
Bere Blay.